Hello, I'm so happy you're here today. We are going to be making the slide and lock card. So this is the front and then look, it's going to slide over and then it's going to open up. Hey Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to make the slide and lock butterfly card. So pretty. We're using the Butterfly Brilliance bundle. So it's the stamp set and the dies. Remember, you can get these items early before the next annual catalog starts on May 4th. And the bundle is what's available. You can purchase them individually or as a bundle. So let me show you here. So here's the Butterfly Brilliant stamp set. Now this stamp set does come in one piece. And then also the dies also come in one piece for the solid cut line, like these lines right here. And then also these are the Brilliant Wings. This is the die set that, that coordinate with the Butterfly Brilliant stamp set. But I have a video that's posted above if you want to click on that that shows you how we cut our stamps and the dies to have them all stamp and die cut individually. Okay? All right, so let me go ahead and show you how this card works. So this is the front. So you're gonna slide this butterfly over to the left and then it's gonna release your little lock part of the card and then you can open it up and then you'll have your greeting inside. Isn't that cute? Then you can just close it and then slide the butterfly back over and it locks it up. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so I got this idea from a girl named Chris Logard and I think she used the ice cream stamp set, if I remember right. So here's one, of course, using the chicken. So you can see that the chicken is on the two and a quarter inch circle. So it's sliding on that. Okay, so that slides over and then you open it up and there's the inside of the card. So you can slide it back over and lock it like that. And then I made this one with also the Butterfly Brilliant stamp set with the two and a quarter inch circle punch. Okay, also I want to give a reminder that all our circle punches are retiring this year. So it's while supplies last. And then also the, the punch that we're using for the classic label punch, which is making this little mechanism for the card to open and lock, that is also retiring. So it will be available while supplies last or until May 3rd. Okay. All right, so we're going to make this one today. This is the one we made at my club night on this past Saturday. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our cardstock. Okay, so we're using the basic black. This piece is cut at five and a half by ten and a half, and then a piece of basic white, which is cut at four by five and a quarter, and then a piece of the True Love designer paper. Remember, this is the black and white paper that's also retiring this month, and this piece is cut at one and three quarter by five and a quarter. Okay, and we're gonna do some corner rounding on this and the basic black. So let me grab my detailed trio punch. Okay, so we're gonna corner round this side here. So only one side, we're just gonna go ahead and corner round one edge on both of the corners. Okay, so like that. And now we're gonna grab our paper trimmer and then we'll corner round on the basic black. Okay, so we're going to score on the ten and a half inch side at eight and a half. Don't want to cut, you want to score. Corner around these two ends right here. All right now we're gonna go ahead and fold on this eight and a half inch side. Let me get my bone folder. Okay, so now to get the perfect alignment, because what you want is this, it's normally scored at four and a quarter to make that fold for the front of the card, but because you have your flap here scored at eight and a half, you're gonna wanna pull that back just a little tiny smidge. So to get the perfect alignment, you're just gonna take this edge over here and put this into the corner where that eight and a half inch score line is. And then you're just going to go ahead and press that down, finger press it, and then give that a good burnish with your bone folder. And that's gonna be your perfect alignment for your slide and lock card right there. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and grab our classic label punch. You're also gonna need a pencil. 
and we're going to first punch this flap. So the eight and a half inch score line, remember when we scored that. So this is the classic label punch and we're going to cut about a quarter of the classic label punch. So you can see here, hopefully you can see that basic black piece of cardstock in there. So what I'm doing is I'm sliding the punch all the way in and I'm just lining that up to about quarter of the way and then we're gonna punch that out. Okay, so you're gonna have your little lock area right there. Then you're gonna fold this over and you're gonna grab a pencil and I'm going to make a little V mark right here, right where that punch line is at. So hopefully you can see that here. Let me hold this up for you. So I made a pencil line right into that V mark of the classic label punch, which looks like this right here. So you can hopefully see that. Okay, so now this is going to be my guide to where I'm going to punch this second punch out with the classic label. I'm going to line that up with that pencil mark. And I'm going to put the punch all the way in again, and we're going to line that up with that pencil mark, and we're going to go ahead and punch that. So the idea is that you want this punch out here to line up with the flap over, because this is going to be your little sliding mechanism for the slide and lock part of the card. Okay, so now we're going to grab our designer paper. We're going to put the curved edge where we cut the, the rounded edge along the rounded edge of the basic black cardstock. Let me grab my stamp and seal. We're going to put that onto that edge. And then we're going to cut this piece out with, again, our classic label punch. So once again, we're going to put in the punch all the way. And we're going to line that up exactly right where we punched it previously. So then it should still line up perfectly. Hopefully that shows up. I had mentioned that I had cut my butterflies separately so I can use them individually on my projects if I wanted to. So what I did is I put all the butterflies that we're using for this card, I put them on my Stamparatus and then I lined up my basic white piece of cardstock right along the edge here. And then I'm going to take my Memento ink. Now I've already stamped it, but this is just to save some time. So I'm going to ink up my butterflies. Okay, and we're going to close the window. So I just put them all on the Stamparatus with the Memento ink. And then what I did is I went ahead and colored the butterflies. So I'm going to show you how I did that. All right, so I'm using the Daffodil Delight Stampin' Blends and then also the Bermuda Bay Stampin' Blends. Okay, so first we're going to take the light of the daffodil and I'm going to color in the whole butterfly. Okay, then I took the Daffodil Dark and I just randomly colored in certain spots of my butterfly. Okay, and then I'm going to take the Bermuda Bay, I'm going to take the light, and I'm going to start in the middle of where the butterfly body is, and I'm going to brush stroke outward. So I'm going to take the dark Stampin' Blend and I'm going to also color that in just in the center area and bring that out. Okay, and then I'm going to color the edge of my butterfly's wings just a little tiny bit. Okay, isn't that pretty? And then you're going to take the light again, take the light Stampin' Blends and we're just going to somewhat blend these colors together. So it's going to make like a light shade of green when you're blending the blue from the Bermuda Bay and then the daffodil. But so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And then I colored all three butterflies the exact same way. So now we're going to use the Brilliant Wings, the dies. Now if you have the whole set of the dies, remember the straight edge, these are all individual, the delicate or the detailed die. But these straight edge dies were all one piece. So if you cut them apart, like I did, 
You can cut this with the mini Stampin' and Cut emboss machine. So I would line those up, and then this is for the, I believe this is for this size here. Right, so I would cut the cardstock so I can cut each piece individually. And then this butterfly goes with this one. So then I would run that through the mini Stampin' and Cut and Emboss machine. But like I said, if you have the whole piece of the butterflies, you're going to need the full size Stampin' and Cut and Emboss machine. Okay? All right, so once I cut those out, this is what they're going to look like. Aren't they beautiful? So I'm going to use the mini Stampin' Dimensionals on these. So I'm going to go ahead and put the two mini Dimensionals, one on each of the smaller sizes of the butterfly. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and cut out one of the two and a quarter inch circles for the large butterfly of our mechanism for the front of the card. So let me grab that. Okay, so we're going to use the two and a quarter inch circle punch. We're going to punch out a piece of the basic black. And then we're going to grab our mini dimensionals. Now this piece, you can see right where we cut on the back side, you're going to take your two and a quarter inch circle and you're going to layer it right behind that cut out so you can't even see through that slide mechanism see when I move it here let me open up the card so you can't see it when it's covered up and then you can see where I'm moving it okay so you're just going to cover up that classic label punch out and then you're going to take two mini dimensionals and I'm going to put it way over here to the left hand side right in that cut out you could probably even put three of the mini dimensionals if you want and then we're going to take our butterfly now I'm going to fold this up a little bit so the butterfly is like he's fluttering and then we're going to put this right onto those dimensionals so then the butterfly will slide and lock the card when the card is closed so here's the the closed part and then the butterfly will slide over and lock it just like that okay and then it's just a matter of decorating the front so I'm going to put this one over here. Now remember, you want to keep your butterflies inside of the card so it will fit into a regular size envelope. And then one more time, we're going to stamp. I have some scrap white here. We're going to stamp with the brand new stamp set. Okay, so this is the color and contour stamp set. We're going to use this greeting right here. It says, thank you for everything. So beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this onto the basic white. Stamp that, and we're going to punch this out with the two inch circle punch. I love that font too, it's so pretty. Now, this stamp set will be in the next annual catalog, which starts on May 4th. So, we're going to use the two inch circle punch. Remember, this punch is also retiring. We're going to punch that out. I'm going to take some more of the mini dimensionals, just put a couple on the back of the greeting. the greeting right over here so pretty we're going to take that third butterfly and put that right up here in the corner right over top of that greeting isn't that pretty so when the butterfly moves it will open up the card oh we got to put our inside in so let me go ahead and do that this is a piece of basic white cut at four by five and a quarter This is for you to write your message or stamp even another butterfly if you want to. Be really pretty. Okay, so there's the inside of the card. So once you once again, so when you shut the card, you're gonna slide over your butterfly to lock it closed. Oh my gosh, I love this card. So pretty, and that butterfly is so beautiful. Love it. Such a pretty card. Now you're probably wondering how do you let somebody know how they're supposed to open up the card. Well, I feel like they will automatically know that they need to slide it because if they can't open this, they're gonna have to look at it and they're gonna see that the butterfly does move. So I think it's pretty self-explanatory when you send this card to somebody that they know they gotta move that butterfly. Okay, so that's how you make that beautiful slide and lock butterfly card. Let me bring in the other one. Okay, so here's the other one, same idea. Slide and lock. I love it. So easy and beautiful. 
And then here's the one I use with the chickens. This is the Hey Birthday Chick. These are still available. And the Hey Birthday Chick stamp set and the dies are carrying over to the new catalog as well. And then you got the pink one with the flirty flamingo and the butterflies. And then this one also has the two and a quarter inch circle punch for the closure, like the chicken. Whereas the one with the butterfly here, we didn't add the circle. We just added the dimensionals to it so it slides a little bit easier. Okay? But it's so fun. You're going to love making this card. I'll have all the items listed down below. And then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. And then also give me a thumbs up if you like today's video. Okay? Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye!